Welcome back. Still on the breakfast, the federal government says it has almost completed requirements expected to reverse the United States of America visa ban on a certain category of Nigerian travelers. The permanent secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Mustafa Suleiman, while meeting with U.S. embassy officials at the ministry's headquarters in Abuja, urged the U.S. government to reevaluate its position on the visa ban. The U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, while confirming that a ban on several politicians is in place, said the United States government is committed to a free, fair and credible electoral process in the country. There are people who we believe um, merit that treatment and should those people seek to travel or to apply for a visa, it would apply to them. The integrity of elect the election process is so important to the fundamental uh, trust of compact between a, a citizen and their government. It's fundamentally important, and that's why we take the step of internally identifying people that we believe can credibly be construed to have interfered in that process. U.S. visa uh, processes are, in fact, confidential, and so we do not publish a list. We do not make public who it is has been um, subjected to these, uh, would be subjected to these sanctions. An individual who attempted to travel or to apply for a visa uh, would be refused, impeded, um, and, uh, but it is not something that we, uh, that we advertise who the, those list of individuals are. Um, I think that uh, uh, anyone who is involved with um, electoral processes in Nigeria should reflect upon the fact that um, a notorious behavior in this regard may have that consequence um, for their ability to, to travel to the United States. I think um, from the assessment of uh, the recipient of our response, I think we have uh, accomplished almost 90% of, of the requirements that have been established in that, in that regard. And uh, I'm sure if you follow uh, you know, the, the, the information that has been passed in terms of the level of compliance, with, for instance, the sharing of information, uh, we, have, uh, we have done so much in that regard, and that's why I believe that the U.S. government is having the comfort to even re-evaluate. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been, you know, candidates for evaluation if we haven't really substantially complied with the, with the requirements that have been established, you know, at the beginning of uh, the visa, I mean, immigrant visa ban. So I think uh, if we are to rate ourselves, I think uh, from what has been said and done so far, we should be about 90% uh, compliant. And like I said, that's why we are looking at a re-evaluation mm -hmm. And we are looking at actually a positive prospect. A Nigeria's federal government on Wednesday said the country's 60th independence anniversary celebration will be observed for a whole year and in September 30th, 2021. This came as President Muhammad Wari unveiled the logo and theme for the 60th independence anniversary celebration. The brief ceremony was conducted just before the weekly virtual Federal Executive Council meeting at the council chambers of the presidential villa in Abuja. President Buhari said that the anniversary celebration would be held low-key this year, attributing the development to the scourge of the novel coronavirus pandemic. The president, who spoke after the secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, gave insight on how the logo was adopted and the modalities guiding the anniversary celebration, adding that his administration would henceforth ensure inclusiveness. The theme of this year's celebration is, Together Shall We Be. Uh, chosen to forge a more united and cohesive uh, Nigeria. It is to the glory of God and in celebration of the attainment of the diamond age of 60 by our great nation that I hereby unveil the prepared anniversary logo for this momentous occasion in our national history. And joining us now is a reputation manager, Tubosu Akeju, and a public affairs commentator, Gide Benzin. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Akeju. First of all, on a light note, what do you think of the logo as a brand manager? Um, I, I mean, branding is simple ideas with ruthless consistency. Um, I think that the logo is not simple enough, and uh, it, it might be very difficult to achieve uh, that ruthless consistency with the logo. But I must commend um, the federal government for their approach for crowd um, sourcing and you know uh, the design of that logo and opening it up uh, to Nigerians to 
you know, submit entries from which they said they have chosen from. All right, brilliant. And uh, Ginny Benson, over to you now. According to the president, the theme of this year's anniversary celebration is Together Shall We Be, uh, chosen to forge a more united and uh, of a positive and cohesive Nigeria. Um, how effective are such themes, and of course, uh, for the intended purpose? Well, since the president has said that he's going to be, he's going to ensure more inclusiveness, so let's give him the benefit of the doubt. It should be an opportunity for the fault lines in Nigeria to start being mended. There's been too much trauma in recent times for the for the nations in Nigeria to go their separate ways. The president has a responsibility on his shoulder to to discountenance what Wale Shrinka has referred to him as, as a, um, a divider in law. And I hope that he'll take advantage of this 6th anniversary to commence that move. Yeah, I, I want you to go on with, with the same thought. You know, what, what more do you think that the presidency needs to start putting in place to, you know, of course, express uh, the uh, theme, together shall we be, and of course, reunite Nigerians, you know, across all lines? The first and most important thing is his appointment. Um, very recently, there was an appointment of the, of the person to head the National Population Commission. And within a week of an eye, the person's appointment was changed again. And feelers out there is that the person was a Muslim, and, and the person was a Christian and was changed to a Muslim. That doesn't send a good signal when there has been so much talk about most of the appointments coming from one side of the country and from one religion. I think the person should also engage the heads of the different um, sociocultural organizations Give them, give them your ears and assurances that you are not deliberately making efforts to, to, to you are not deliberately making one-sided appointments. And the president should consider changing some of his appointments now. Tubosu uh, Akeju, let's speak with you now. Um, do you do you feel that? I'm going to ask you two questions, actually. I hope that you can uh, pull through with it. Um, the first one is, okay. do you feel that there are certain programs? There is a uh, Ministry of, uh, of course, Culture and Tourism, I believe that you know still is in existence. Do you feel like there are certain programs that maybe we could put in place um, annually um, that will unite Nigerians and bring us all together? Um, and, of course, uh, push forward this whole narrative of um, together shall we be. Yes, um, I strongly believe that uh, there are loads of uh, programs that we can put together to um, effectively execute and get the results we want from um, uh, this campaign. Uh, I mean, when I saw that news, the first thing that came to mind is that, you know, uh, this needs to be executed as a thematic campaign that strikes emotional chord and can drive desired um, action. And if you look at you know, uh, countries like the US, you'd see that they've done this a couple of times, you know, using um, um, a, lot of, a lot of things, you know, messaging, national orientation agency can come in here. And one strong part of culture change is actually Entertainment. Entertainment is a very strong driver of culture change. So in our movies, in our song, are we going to do a song for Nigeria that is in line with this thematic campaign? Are we, is Nigeria going to sponsor one of its finest producers, you know, to produce movies, to produce um, um, series, you know, to produce entertainment materials that will help to drive this um, 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 thing together, shall we be? You know, are we going to have concerts? You know, are we going to now transform? Are we going to have merchandise? I mean, you'd remember that our World Cup, um, um, Jesse was arguably, I think, one of the best selling. So what are we going to do? Those are the things that we can do. Uh, and at the core of all of those things is the ability to be able to give Nigerians a sense of belonging and also drive on the message of together shall we be. You know, I, I look at Nigeria and 60, there are so many things to, to be unhappy about. But I think that we have really, really tried, you know, in our time 
to be together. There's so many things we could have done better. There are so many opportunities that I think we've squandered and we're still, you know, wasting. But I believe that the fact that Nigeria is still together, despite the diverse nature, nature of our country, is something that is worth celebrating. And it's something that we really can build on because there are pros and cons, you know, um, to, 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 to our diversity. And it's a time, because of the time for celebration, then we might as well just go and find a way to strengthen the pros and find um, a way to work on those things that are weaknesses or those things that are threatening our coexistence and, you know, find a lasting and sustainable uh, um, solution to it. So, yeah, at the core of this, we're definitely going to be entertainment because, like I said, the pandemic has allowed us to spend more time on screen. And if you look at, you know, majority of what we do on our screen today, it's, 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 it's more of entertainment. So I think... Yeah, go, go, on, go on with that thought, you know. How, how do you think this might also play out now that the president, of course, isn't too happy about celebrating 60 years of independence uh, low-key uh, due to the pandemic? Um, uh, there's people who have commended the decision, describing it as, as wise. So how do you think this would play out? Um, um, since, since President Buhari came into government, I think that he, he has not, you know, spent um, or dedicated so much funds or money to... Um, 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 the independence day of Nigeria. However, I think being low key doesn't mean that we don't do things that are effective. I feel that uh, what the president is trying to say as far as low key is concerned is we're not going to be spending a humongous amount of money um, uh, for, for the six year celebration of Nigeria's independence. But I still believe that money has to be spent in the right you know, places. You know, Like I mentioned a uh, resume of you know, entertainment programs or ideas that can help us drive home that message because there has to be something like the Nigerian dream. The Nigerian dream cannot be to move to Canada or to become a political office holder and then put an could have a chair of the national cake. We have to, you know, have something that we, we, are, we are moving towards, um, um, to something that uh, a nation that we can be quick to the next generation and things like that. Um, Beyond the communication of um, this theme or this message, what's also important is we have to start to see a visible change in the behavior of our political leaders. So, yes, we are 60. Yes, together we can. And uh, 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 like Jide said, you know, even the appointment has to start to reflect the fact that, yes, we are together. We are one nation. Um, you know, um, um, we, we have to start to, you know, give the promise of a better future and start to act in that direction. Not that we give the promise of a better future and then we're moving in the opposite direction, you know. So, um, I mean, those, those, those are the things that I feel that we should start to look at in, in, uh, with this celebration. All right, Judy Benson, over to you now. Let's talk about the choice for a year-long celebration. The uh, SGF, uh, SGF, who uh, is also the chairman of the Interministerial Committee on Nigeria's uh, 60th anniversary celebration, said the aim is to make the country heal um, is, is this enough time? Um, oh, yes. A year-long year celebration, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the SJ is saying that it's an, it's an intention to help the country here is admission of the fact that um, the country is bleeding. And as I said earlier on, I hope that they will do everything within their capacity to ensure that that healing is just not mounted. The likes of i the likes of Pandev, the likes of all of the social cultural organizations that are that their voices are getting louder, and it appears that the government is making efforts to silence them through force. There should now be a different approach. Inclusion. The president should talk to them. As a matter of fact, if we're not for COVID, I would have suggested that the president goes on a 60 nation and 60, uh, what do you call it? We spend 60 days across Nigeria in different states and have conversations with different sector, different sections of the country. There should be a theme song. I think the best time we've had the, an, an independent anniversary in Nigeria was when Nigeria was 25. There's a theme song that I always remember. I don't know if there's going to be a theme song this time around that children in schools should be singing. Because children are good um, carriers of messages. Yeah. So I really do hope that they will do their best to make sure that as we go into the 61st year, Nigerians begin to see a glimmer of hope in the horizon. 
All right, and um, um, 60 years as a nation, still uh, with uh, GD Benson, 60 years as a nation. Are you proud of our activities and how far we've come? Okay, let me throw that question back to you. Are you proud? I think the answer, <laughs> I think the answer is that there's a lot of room for improvement. I'm not proud, but I wish that I was. And uh, Tubosun Akeju, uh, I, I also want you to speak. Something, you know, crossed my mind just before, uh, while you were speaking. Um, it's been a while we saw the Argungun Fishing Festival, the Calabar Carnival. There's a lot of these things that used to, um, you know, I mean, make us really, really happy, you know, as Nigerians, you know, in the past. Um, how do you think we can bring these things back um, into, um, you know, our lives? Um, and how, I'm just and how, how that we just, we just need to be very, very deliberate. Um, that's what I see. Uh, we have great assets, uh, great cultural heritage, you know, um, and we just need to look at it from a deeper business perspective. I'm sorry, it's just what it is. Uh, socioeconomic development of Nigeria is very, very important. So the more money we're able to make, you know, maybe the happier we will be, and uh, maybe the more conscious all of us will be at keeping everybody uh, um, uh, very um, 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 responsible uh, in, in their own um, quarters. So, uh, like, I mean, I'm not very proud of, of, of Nigeria at the moment because, again, like I said before, we can do way better than we're doing. So all those are festivals. It's, it's about time for us to look at all those big festivals and find a way to do it with international best practice. How do we ensure that it's not just something that is locally good, something that will you know get because we are now in a global village so it's not enough to just be good in nigeria you have to be good on a global scale you know so the lines are blurred already the borders uh, you know we have physical borders but you know uh, online there are no borders if it's online everybody can view it so you know we want to do things that someone you know thousands of miles away will see and you know, feel interested. And that way we can get some economic benefit from it. You can see what Dubai has been able to do with tourism. I think Nigeria can actually do way better than that. It's just that, you know, it's different level of things that needs to be in place for us to be able to, you know, um, achieve that kind of success. The theme once again, together shall we be. Jida Benson and uh, Tubo Sumakeju, thank you both for speaking uh, with us. Thank, thank you. you for having together shall we be.